Dear friends, it's a great pleasure to be with you online today. And I want to thank Mr. Lee Yong, Director General of UNIDU, for inviting me to take part in this conference. Dear colleagues, 25 years ago, 189 governments adopted the Beijing Declaration and the Platform for Action, the most progressive blueprint ever for advancing women's rights. Five years ago, all United Nations member states adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development with the central promise of leaving no one behind. As we mark these milestones, it is important to assess progress and identify gaps and opportunities for collaboration on gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls. Partnerships are crucial to accelerate the success. And I'm very pleased to work together with UNIDU to reduce the digital divide. Ladies and gentlemen, internet usage has kept growing over the last 15 years to reach an unprecedented level of connectability that is transforming almost every sector of the economy and accelerating social and economic progress. We have all seen the vital role played by broadband connectability since the onset of COVID-19. And this role we are only grew in importance as we move past the pandemic. But the problem is that overall growth has been slowing in recent years. ITU data show that over 46% of the global population is still not connected to the internet yet. New data released by ITU reveal that in most countries worldwide, women are still trailing men in benefiting from the transformational power of digital technologies. Facts and Figures 2019, the first publication in ITU's new Measuring Digital Development Series, estimates that over half the total global female population 52% is still not using the internet, compared to 42% of all men. More men than women use the internet in every region of the world, except the Americas, which has a near parity. Unfortunately, the COVID crisis has amplified existing inequalities including the digital gender divide, and we need to take action to ensure that it is not exacerbated even further. Women are underrepresented in tech sectors globally, while digital technologies are shaping the societies and economies we live in and the values we live by. Meanwhile, it is uh, predicted that the majority of uh, future jobs will require at least basic digital skills. Multiple barriers hold girls and women back. Lack of uh, affordable access to infrastructure, lack of uh, digital skills, lack of uh, relevant uh, content, online safety concerns, poverty, gender discrimination, entrenched stereotypes, cultural norms, and a lack of visible rule models against a backdrop of male-dominated tech sectors. The stakes of ensuring girls' and women's digital inclusion are extremely high, impacting girls' and women's lives and uh, wider socio-economic uh, progress. At ITU, we are working very actively in this area. Through a broad range of initiatives, 
and partnerships to improve young girls' access and involve them in the decision-making processes that will affect their future. We are committed to continue, and we are enhance our support during the pandemic and after. My first example, Girls in ICT Day. This is a tradition since 2011 in ITU activities. It was adopted at the ITU Supplementary Potential Conference in 2010. It is a call to action to inspire the next generation of girls and young women to learn more about the amazing opportunities and careers offered by ICTs. We planned to bring this year's global celebration to Samoa, but unfortunately, we could not due to the crisis. But IT will continue to show the commitment to pressing for progress for gender equality everywhere, including in small island developing states and landlocked developing countries. The Declaration on Promoting Gender Equality, Equity, and Parity in the ITU Radio Communication Sector adopted at ITU World Radio Communication Conference 2019 is a good example. This is my second example. The third example that I would like to share with you is the work done by ITU together with the young women in the Equals Partnership. We started on this journey in 2015, around the time of the launch of the 2030 Agenda. United in our belief that the ICTs can accelerate the progress towards gender equality and the SDGs, and that urgent concerted global action was needed. Since then, the Equals partnership has been recognized at the highest level from resolutions of the UN General Assembly to G20 Digital Economic Ministerial Declarations to the Transform Africa Summit and High Level Political Forum in UN. We came together for the same goal, to bring women and girls to tech and tech to women and girls. The world of technology is changing rapidly, and ITU is changing with it. I'm proud to be leading ITU during the historic moment when Mrs. Doreen Bogdan Matan became the first female elected official in 155 years of ITU history. As an international gender champion, I encourage all men to join me and to be an ally for gender equality. My own specific commitments for the year 2020 are the following. I commit to launch a public outreach campaign to raise awareness and promote equal access to ICT infrastructure. I commit to increase the number of countries collecting and disseminating global, regional, national, gender, and age disaggregated data on access to and use of ICTs and digital skills, and to reinforce our efforts to help countries to have the necessary capacity to collect the required data. Let's think equal, build smart, and innovate for change.